I'm tired of this alliance being painted as, boy, we don't want to, we're going to fight against this football centric Southeastern Conference because we care about all the sports and we care about Olympic sports more and we care about academics more and yada, yada, yada. Give me a break. The Big Ten, the Pac-12, the ACC expected to formally announce today their partnership, their alliance, if you will, for college football scheduling and beyond uh, as the three conferences come together uh, to form their alliance. And what is an effort to combat what the SEC is doing in college football and conference expansion? Uh, and what it shows here is we're headed towards the Power Four Conference, which we have alluded to and discussed um, really at length over the last three or four weeks with all of this. The Pac-12, to me, is the real benefactor here with what their, their new commissioner has done in just a couple of months on the job, pairing and partnering with the Big Ten here, and then the ACC as well, getting on board with Clemson and some of the other uh, marquee college football names on the East Coast. And this is just a glaring, glaring problem for the Big 12. Yeah, the Big 12, they're and done. we said at the moment that Texas and Oklahoma left, I mean, they're, they're on their last leg at this point. That, that conference is, it, it, you better jump on a, a life raft if you're a member of that conference with any other options. Uh, Seth Emerson with The Athletic wrote a great piece uh, today about this alliance also and repeated some of the things I've said on this show. Um, I, I'm tired of this alliance being painted as <laughs> Boy, we don't want to, we're going to fight against this football centric Southeastern Conference because we care about all the sports and we care about Olympic sports more and we care about academics more and yada, yada, yada. Give me a break. The SEC had more medals in the Olympics than any other conference. They, they care about Olympic sports also. Uh, Texas, who they just added, just won the all sports trophy for the past year. So they care about that. This is a football move. That's all it is. You can say whatever you want about it, but it's about money. It's about television contracts. It's about football. Now, the bigger piece about what he was saying in terms of the alliance, the SEC was, did the SEC overplay their hand? Because they were the richest and most powerful conference regardless. And now that they've done this and they were so ready to admit Texas and Oklahoma, it's, it's an arrogant move by the SEC that didn't necessarily had to be, had to be made at this point. They could have reassessed and said, what's good for all of college sports? The SEC and Greg Sankey, and again, this is the argument made in the piece, Greg Sankey and the SEC could have become the NCAA by getting everyone together and say, let's do everything possible to save this conference in middle America first, and then if that doesn't work, we'll take Texas and Oklahoma. Instead, they decided to go the land grab route and immediately welcome them with open arms, take those two away, destroy a conference, and then that forced the hand of... Pac-12, Big Ten, ACC to do something. And this is the response, which this response, while it's not going to make the SEC not the best conference in sports, it's not a good thing for the SEC in terms of power. Well, the SEC isn't getting any good out of conference games, but at least it's got a packed conference. Big 12 is going to have a nine-game schedule and not be able to play anybody that is worth a damn outside of uh, – I mean, Central Florida can get all the games it wants now, right? I mean, play the best of the big – what's well, left the, of the Well, the Big, big 12. 12 could turn around and want to schedule the SEC. Yeah. What's that could Nothing's happen. blocking yeah. that. Also yeah. – So that, those will be the out-of-conference games where, in the SEC if you want to play somebody – I, I think here's where – this is where we're headed. And I, I, I really believe this is, this is the direction we're going to go, college football-wise especially. All SEC schedule – and all of the Power Four conferences will have a semifinal round to determine who gets into the college football playoff. That, that to me, determines the national champion. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified every time Outkick 360 goes live. We are live weekdays, 11 a.m. Central, noon Eastern, right here across the Outkick network. And while you're at it, like this video and let us know what you think in the comments below.